Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm trying to be autonomous today with the palettes I'm using and the makeup, but I've got the summer top still on, but it's just too hot. Like, does anyone else get really hot after they fake tanned? I'm dishing out the pumpkin pie palette today. This is from iHot Revolution. It's from that Tasty Hamper set last year. Thanks to Sophie from my Patreon group. She helped me decide what shades to pick from this palette. If you also want to get involved in what palette I want to choose next for my video and help me out with some shades, you can join my Patreon if you like. I'll leave it down below. This scrumptious shade and occasion shade I want to go into. I also want to do a sexy red lip for the autumn. So I've got this lipstick. It's not new. It's from May Beauty, but this red, definitely autumn, autumn red. I want to use this Unicorn Heart Glow um, palette again because the shimmers in here are so nice in the corner. And yeah, I'm just going to dish out some other bits as well. I've got this Tasty Peach to try again. Um, maybe the contour bar. But yeah, it's just going to be a get ready me for Sunday. <laughs> Even though it's probably not, no, it's not Sunday for you, is it? It's probably the week after. So if you're interested to see how this get ready with me turns out, then carry watching, hit subscribe. Let's go. Lip prep today, I'm using the iHeart Revolution Bugs Bunny Looney Tunes Lip Oil. It is becoming a fave, as you would know. And then I'm gonna top that off with the Jeffree Star Banana Fetish Lip Mask. This stuff gives me joy. This just makes your lips look like they came from space. Like, look, <laughs> look at that. It's just so glass looking. Literally, sometimes I wear this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup just to give your lips a bit of I'm gonna start off with some sun cream. I am heading out today. I'm gonna do a nice Sunday walk with my baby wolf, um, Kira. She's doing a lot better, so update. She is doing so well. Um, I don't know if you saw a couple of videos back. I was quite teary. She went for an operation and all that. Um, it's so quickly how she's turned around. Like It's like she never had the operation. She is doing phenomenal and it makes me happy and i'm just so happy i'm like i could like literally cry in joy so yeah that's that an update on kira what a beautiful babe <laughs> i'm gonna go in my beauty bay eye bases i'll go in the shade two and one but also i just want to say thank you so much to those who have joined my patreon um honestly i actually didn't think anyone would join um, no, I'm actually being serious. Like, I was so nervous to post it, but I'm so happy we've got like a little small group. Um, yeah, I just want to say a special thanks to you guys for supporting me. Um, yeah, I just feel, I just feel happy. <laughs> Tasty pumpkin pie. I've done a couple of looks on this already, so I'll try to link the videos down below if I remember. But today I'm gonna go with these two shades because I believe I haven't used that on my channel yet. But with a twist, I want to add a bit of depth as well in the palette. I'm going to use a packing brush first. These are from GWA. I don't know if they still do these brushes. They are from the uh, Flamingo set. I've had these years, so it's probably bad that I'm still using them. But they're just really good. And I'm going to put Scrumptious, as you can see, just on the inner corner and outer corner portion of my eye. Take a bit on the lower lash line as well. But this is very bright, so this is probably why I want to go in the black a bit, just to dull it out a bit, make it more smoky. We shall see. I am going to blend this out, so I'm going to use the shade probably Pumpkin Pie or Fresh Pumpkin. So let's try Pumpkin Pie. I'm just going to go a bit on top of the scrunchies here, just being ever so careful. Hopefully these two can mix. Surely they would, as they are fiery tones. I think I might keep it quite rounded here. I'm going to take more of a fluffy brush. I'm going to still take the shade Pumpkin Pie. I know we cheated a bit using different shades, but I kind of want this blown up a bit. I have so much lid space here, so I kind of want it a bit blown up but not just using the red just uh, a gradual fade hopefully okay i'm also going to take some feasting as well and i'm going to put that just 
just below my brow bone. Hopefully it can give me a bit of some highlight, but we will go in the Unicorn Heart Glow for the highlight. Um, but yeah, I just want a bit something up here. And just round the edges a bit. Like so. But I do want to add a bit of depth. It does look really nice, this does, but me, I just want to darken it out a bit. Make it even more smoky for the autumn. I think I probably will go in with Detectable. Now this can change a lot. I'm not going to add a lot though. I believe this shade is pigmented, so I'm going to pack and just go on the inner corners for now. Just add a different hue to this look. But you see how that just changes it slightly. Just giving it a bit of a shadow in the inner portion and out the portion of the eye. So that gap there in the middle, I want to go with this. So this is called Occasion. And I think that could look really nice. So I'm going to take a flat brush. I'm going to go in for Occasion. I'm going to wet this because I don't want any fallout as much. I'm just going to spray it with the Prime and Infuse Prime on spray. See how that looks. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to pat a lot on because it does come out a bit crumbly. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Now it's time to go in the Unicorn Heart Glow. I love this as a companion palette. Um, I Heart Revolution again. It's just so beautiful. Um, I just like to use it if I need something brightening in the in a corner or on the brow bone. So yeah, I'm going to go with Whimsy maybe. That could look nice. Let's try Whimsy. So this shade here. I'm going to wet it because I want the full potential. Wait till you see this. Like how nice is that? It just pops. So nice. And it kind of goes with the inner corner shimmer too. I'm going to use it as a brow bone as well. Highlight. I'm going to go with my finger. Okay, so to carry on with the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrating Foundation in the shade Neutral Sand. I'm going to use my sponge today. I should have wet it, but who has time to wet this sponge on a Sunday? Yeah, I don't have time to wet my sponge on a Sunday. No. I'm going to go with some concealer. This is the HBN Cosmetics which I believe is a bit too dark for me, but we're just gonna go in. I've been liking using a brush recently for my concealer, so. I wanna keep the face quite matte today, so I am gonna powder. I think I'm gonna go in my W7 powder today. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush, this is a Spectrum. I'm just going to set it a bit more under my eyes. I love loose powder though because it does feel a lot lighter than the pressed one. So for my bronzer, I'm going to go in this again. This is the Chocolate Contour Bar. This is too dark for me. It's in the shade light, but I believe they have a fair version now. So I need to get that. So I'm going to be very light-handed with this, take a lot off and try to put it on that way. I'm going to try to go with a fluffier brush. I'm also going to go with a blush. This is my May Beauty blush. It just says Coral Blush and Sunkissed Highlighter. This will set the tone. I feel like this just goes nice with the eyeshadow. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in this again. This is the Tasty Peach 3D Highlighter from I Heart Revolution. I'm going to set my face first. I'm going to use the Unicorn Heart Glow Glow Mist. Now, I've got this May Beauty. I kind of want to do a, I want to try to do a brown to red. So I'm going to use the Peaches and Cream Hotline Lip Liner. This is so dark, but I kind of want it work with the red. 
So let's let's put this on first. Like look how dark it is. That's how dark it is. And then I kind of want to blend it out a bit with a blending brush maybe. And then I want to go with the lip. So this is the May Beauty. May Beauty lipsticks are so nice. They are on the expensive side, but they're just really pretty. How nice is that? What the hell? This is giving me the autumn vibe I want. I don't know if it goes with this look though. I feel like I need something a bit more orangey. Would this make it a bit brighter? Will this make it a bit orangey? Yeah. This is May Beauty again in the shade Tulip. I like it. Let's keep it. It's very rare for me to wear this lip combo anyway, but that's what it looks like. I think it's pretty, so. So this is the XX of Revolution Eyeliner. It's in the shade Coral. I'm just gonna put, pop this on. I don't want an eyeliner that's too harsh. I don't think so. I might go back into this palette again. I'm gonna use the detectable shade and I'm just gonna like wing it out a bit. So detectable shade. So just make it a bit smoky. So what I mean is just a bit smoky. So I'm going to see if I can put these on. These are the Primer Lash in the style D11. I just want to see what these look like without actually putting it on. Okay, they're cute. I'm going to put those on. D11. I don't know what to do with my hair. Um, do I keep it up? Either way, I need to get out the door, so. I think I'm just going to leave it down for now. I don't have time to do it. Um, we're near enough done now so I can show you the look. These lashes, I'm so happy with them. I need to buy another pair of these. So these are the Primer Lash from Professional Dainty in style D11. Uh, yeah, D for Delta 11. Just want to make sure you got that because these are stunning lashes. They're very easy to put on as well because the band is quite thin. But yeah, thank you so much to Sophie for picking these shades out from the Tasty Pumpkin Pie. Lovely autumn palette. Let me grab it. Just dropping everything on the floor. Lovely, gorgeous palette. For the autumn. I literally cannot wait for the Christmas I Heart Revolution gift set so make sure you stay tuned if you love watching these get ready with me's using the palettes. I know I do a lot of get ready with me's with I Heart Revolution palettes it's just because the majority of my collection is I Heart Revolution and that's the brand that gives me the most joy when I play with makeup um so yeah, I hope that doesn't bother you, but it's what makes me happy. So yeah, we've got to do what makes us happy, right? Um, but yeah, I really like this look. I love the shades that have been picked out for me. A little bit of a twist. I just wanted to add a bit of depth to this look just to make it a bit saucy, you know? The brown and lip combo. This is probably my first time trying it. If you haven't tried it before, try it for the autumn. And I think it's a great lip combo to do. I'm going to set my face at, Un at Morphe Communius. Communius. Communious spray, continuous spray. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Do let me know in the comments what else videos you'd like to see. Do you guys actually watch these Get Ready With Me's? Do you like them? Um, I know I don't do a lot of new makeup releases. I like to try and use my makeup. I don't like to be overwhelmed with loads of stuff at the same time. If you want to see more uploads from me like these videos, then make sure you hit subscribe. If you want to get involved in my Patreon too, I'll leave that down below. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.